Alright guys, today we're out here again on Cherokee Lake. This morning gonna do some more dock shooting. We just went out here to Walmart this morning, and bought us a couple combos. Probably, would you say the cheapest combo you could probably buy at Walmart, ain't it? I don't, know, no, I don't think it was the cheapest. I don't know, it's $23. It's a little Shakespeare, it's a four foot six ultra light. We got it paired with a 30 second ounce head. And we're just gonna show you guys today that you don't have to go out and buy, you know, the most expensive equipment and stuff that you can come out here to the lake and catch some crappy on some docks. So guys, stay tuned for the video. Hopefully y'all learned something. Got him? <laughs> Golly. Yeah, I ain't got the real tie. The real about to fall off, is it? Look at that. That's the first one. <laughs> Big ah! <laughs> The net coming apart. <laughs> hey, hey, it's one time out. First shot. Oh, I loved it. It felt really good, too. I mean, it's... Uh, let me let me bring this up just a touch. There you go. Come here. Can't get into the top. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. What did you say, 12, 13? Yeah. On that one. I'm gonna put him on the checker just to make sure. Yeah. We fishing for the church today. Huh? We fishing for the church today. I think that's why. The Lord is blessing. Uh, some of our biggest crappy this winter. What is this, number four? Ah, I think. Number six, a little crappy. Big 
didn't reel it at all that time there. the big eye right here right there and I get my jig by the head and just pinch the head pull it back the thing is is getting the release point when to let the line go all right I'm just letting her fall right now about five or six seconds and I'm gonna start reeling it real slow that's a pretty good angle I got on it right there yep. You catch them, I'll net them. I don't know, really. I might be going too far back, getting back past them, and where you're just pinning them through them, too. I've caught some back in there a little bit, and then some right here at the end of the dock. Just watching that line, I ain't really reeling much. I reel a little bit, but. Got him. Right here at the end of the dock. Got fell in the water with him. Oh, Slab happy, Shad. Oh. Shad fly, that color. Yeah. Probably only fished eight, third, almost 30 minutes, and we caught nine. That's pretty good. I shoot way far back in there, but I don't catch them till I get them out here. So they're following it probably 10 foot from where the school's at. So that's why it's good just to always fish it all the way back to the boat because that, you can drag them out of the dock from where they're at. A lot of times it takes them a, a good while to decide whether or not they want to do it. I've caught like 10 fish on it and never retied. So. so this is how you know that the fish are biting good. You see how deep it is in the roof of its mouth? Yeah, good color. Huh. And they're biting good today. So here's what we're using again. Slab happy. It's got a little bit of the orange on the belly. Monkey milk color on the top. There we go. Probably like 13, I think we've caught under here. So, yeah, that was a keeper. We'll get us another one. Hopefully, about 10 more off this one will be good. I think we've tied 
We fished a dock at a Chickamauga and caught like 13 keepers under it, I think. We're about to <laughs> beat that record. We caught 45 under Greenlee. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. We caught a three man limit under it. That was a marina dock, though. That wasn't just a solo, solo dock. Get him, boy. Get in there, boy. Get us the boat. Get I'll go ahead and get the net ready. Feels good on this though. It does feel good, not it? Yeah. Like with this rod, it's got a, I mean, it's got enough power to keep you from getting hung up, you know, letting the fish run all under there. Yeah. So that's what I was mostly concerned about was whether or not you'd be able to pull them out of the dock with it. All right, guys, it's gonna be all for today's video. We're back at the truck now. I think we fished from about, 7:45. it's 11:20 now but we caught the majority of the fish in the first hour and 15 minutes and then after that they just shut off we fished probably three more schools of crappy and they just weren't interested we could tell by reading their behavior and stuff on the on the graphs there that it was just going to be a slow day so we're headed out we got about 15 keepers i believe so pretty good day say the least and so hopefully y'all enjoyed learned something and thank y'all for watching